right, let's watch it. So cool. Let's go. <laughs> it's a fire somewhere. <laughs> Make sure this thing's still tight. All right, guys, Dustin here. If you've ever burned yourself on a hot gun, this video is for you. You know, fire is the part of firearm, and if you do it in any type of volume, it will warm up. Well, Caveman LLC came up with a really neat and unique product. It's the Flare. They got the Flare Mini. They got the Flare Micro, and then they have the Spark, which is the same product integrated into a crush washer for your muzzle device. Pretty neat. It's like a silicone band that at 131 degrees Fahrenheit will change color. So so this brown, it will just really subtly blend in to your barrel or it'll stretch up to two inches for the suppressor. When it gets warm enough where it would burn to the touch, it's gonna glow orange. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings. It's like, it's like the blue sword sting when orcs are near. We'll put several on the, the suppressor and then we will start sending rounds through and see when they change colors. These stretch up to two inches, so it'll fit your barrel if it's like 0.675 and up. It's like a mood ring for your barrel. Because when your barrel's angry, <laughs> it's gonna glow. We're gonna try to do about 10 round burst and then see what it happens. And yes, I'm shooting supersonic ammo because I was testing it out. All right, so that was about 10 rounds. Wow, 125 degrees already. Oh, they're starting to glow. Oh, because it just hit 132. That was cool. So that was 10 rounds through a suppressor and yeah, 132.8, depending on where I hit it. I'm getting anywhere from 106 to 111, 132 with this cheap Harbor Freight gun. But the rear one, that one's gonna glow orange. So it's not warm here yet. But yeah, and the further in the front it is. So let's make it, see how they're glowing neon now. All right, a few more rounds. All right, so now we're at 30 rounds. Oh, come on in here. Here's the change. It's a little metamorph metamorphosis from brown to bright orange. I love that brown because it really blends into the gun. And then it's totally obvious that, oh, we hot, don't touch us. And I am not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to prove the point. Yeah, the brown's totally my favorite. Yeah, we are at 230 degrees and climbing. So here's the deal. What most people do, and this isn't just limited to suppressors, it's just barrels in general. When, you know, you shoot it too much, you aren't aware of it. Maybe someone else, you're sharing guns, or you just lost track of it, or you just had a brain fart, and you go up and touch it and you burn. Uh, or you get ready to pack it up, and you forgot, mm, that suppressor's warm, because you know not to touch it, you put it in the case, and it burns. I have several cases that are burnt and melted, and even my a ATV has a suppressor mark what most people do is what they're gonna go is it hot is it hot and you sacrifice your skin and burn yourself to do that there's reaction time so by the time you're like oh yeah it's hot you've already burned and you know you got that slick finger type thing I live there a lot so this is really cool it's really simple to use and it's just like why not consider it like you know a loaded chamber indicator for your gun sure we could pull back the slide and and look and check the chamber or we can just look at it and say oh yeah it's, so it's like that. It's a, oh yeah, this joker's hot. So this is the most practical application for me because you know rifle suppressors get hot, but pistols, you can like me, you know how much should I really shoot from it? You got to snug it or something. And I just love how it glows bright orange and says, hey, don't touch me. All right, so that was 18 rounds. I'm sure it's getting a little warmer, but okay. And remember the piston assembly goes back here. So the warmer part's probably a little bit more up here. Oh, oh, we're getting, we're starting to get orange underneath. There it goes. It's starting to glow. We can see it fade in. Oh, that's too cool because you also have to realize the heat is in the middle of the baffles. So while I could have touched it 10 seconds ago, the suppressor case on the outside itself uh, may not have been hot till now, till all that heat spreads evenly. Well, one magazine was plenty enough to make it dangerous to touch. This is why it's just so cool. This is probably, I don't know, five, eight minutes ago. Still says no touchy. Whoa, no touchy, no touchy. 
No touch. All right, we're gonna go to 22. We just have one right here and it fits so well on that little rugged. I'm gonna try to just pace ourselves and we'll go real slow this time. All right, so at Marksman Camp, that would have been two campers coming up, you know, doing their little mag dumps. And should they touch the suppressor? No. I just love that. I loved watching it slowly just morph from one color to the next. And no, it's not just limited to the silicone bands. Like I mentioned earlier, they have it in a crush washer that will hide right underneath your muzzle device. So I put the Sightmark Citadel on it just a minute ago. So I had to zero it and I shot four rounds to it about 20 minutes ago. It is 97 degrees at the suppressor. But here's the deal. This is a Faxon barrel pencil profile. Nice and thin, gun runs great. But I've noticed like after a magazine, the shots will dr drift and start to dip lower, especially I think if it has some weight like a suppressor on there. So we're gonna do this. We have a flare mini on the front. We have a crush washer here. It looks a tinge of purple. We'll see what color it changes to. And then I have a micro by the gas block. Now, if you wanna be subtle and effective, that's a really good choice right there. And so that micro fit perfect on this pencil profile barrel. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead, start by holding in the head of that target. And I'm just gonna hold it and just keep, just pulling the shots as I feel comfortable. We'll watch everything warm up. All right, wow, <laughs> that suppressor one changed fast. And that, is that, wow, that was purple. What, what is that now? It's kind of a reddish, and look, the flare is starting to change, change uh, the mini micro is, is orange. It's getting there already, that was five rounds. Okay, I wanna see that crush washer get a little bit. Okay, let's see what it, oh, well, I know it's gonna be warm up there. 152 degrees I had first on the suppressor, 180. I don't know if I can get past the handguard, but obviously it's over 131 degrees. All right, I wanna see that. Yeah, that, while it was just a tiny bit purple, it's more like a raspberry now. All right, put some more rounds. I'm gonna hold the same spot on that target. snap I'm getting a string of shots I'm still holding dead center of the face and now I'm past the neck and into the shoulders obviously we are warm wow <laughs> that is so convincing downrange I, I'm holding dead in the nose of that target and you could just watch these shots drift all the way down into the into the, the belly button there. So that test went exactly as we thought, well, exactly as I thought because I've shot this gun before but never with the thermochromatic rings on it to tell me when it was too hot. And so if you had your eye on the temperature of your gun, you it would perform better. And on that same note, you could use this for a precision rifle because the rule of thumb has always been if you can't hold on to the barrel, it's too hot, okay, let it cool down. Well, 131 degrees, you know, that's that safety, can't hold on to the barrel part, that would work out well for that and they also mentioned uh, kind of expanding the product line so there would be different rings for different temperatures so you may find oh your gun can handle a little, little more heat and have a, a different ring just for your point of impact change type thing so y'all can look out for that so you might be wondering about durability with the silicone and as long as you don't spend too much time over 450 degrees the color change should work indefinitely caveman also has a discord group that they are using as a sounding board so they encourage you to go check that out so if you go to cavemanllc.net, you can pick yourself up some flares and some sparks. And I recommend just that whole multi-pack that has the different rings, different sizes. Uh, that, that's what's gonna be the most fun to just put on different guns. And not most fun, I mean, it's practical. What do you think? I think it's great. I'm going to use it on my marksman camp guns. I'm gonna use it on my suppressors. I'm just gonna leave it there to, so I stop burning myself and my equipment. So sound off in the comments below. Go over to cavemanllc.net to pick up yours today. I think they, they're like less than 10 bucks a pop. So you can have fun, stay safe, 
Okay, I love you, bye-bye. Here we go. Ow, fart. Let's go. Did you see that? I came in like a wrecking ball! Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah!